Okay, let's go. Understanding translational lift in helicopters. Imagine you are piloting a helicopter, hovering steadily above the ground. Everything feels stable, but as you nudge forward and pick up speed, something magical happens. The chopper suddenly feels lighter, more responsive. That's translational lift in action. Hi, I'm your guide today to the helicopter aerodynamics, and we are diving into this phenomenon that every rotorcraft pilot needs to master. So what exactly is translational lift? It's the boost in rotor efficiency that occurs when a helicopter transitions from stationary hover to forward flight. In hover mode, the blades churn through their own downwash, recirculating turbulent air full of vortices that reduce lift. But as you accelerate, typically between 16 to 24 knots, the rotor disc starts slicing through clean, undisturbed air. This effective translational lift, or ETL, outruns those old vortices, generating more lift with less power. Picture this. The front of the rotor gets fresh airflow, while the rear still deals with some turbulence. This creates a nose-up tendency, and the pilot often needs to adjust the cyclic forward to maintain level flight. Even a gentle wind of just one knot can kick this in, making takeoffs smoother and more efficient. Why does this matter? Well, translational lift saves fuel, enhances performance, and is crucial during takeoffs or in confined areas. Ignore it could lead to unexpected altitude changes or power demands. Pilots trained to anticipate this shift to fly safely. Next time you are watching a helicopter zip away, remember, it's not just speed. It's translational lift that gives it its extra little edge. Thanks for tuning in. Fly safe, and we'll see you again tomorrow.